Hello, and thank you for viewing this presentation on how to size an application using EL Sizing. Here is the application we will use to size an actuator from. This is an application for an automated paint spraying machine. The paint spray head has a mass of 20 pounds or 9.1 kilograms and is to be mounted with a center of mass 10 inches or 254 millimeters in the vertical direction off of the carriage and 5 inches or 127 millimeters perpendicular to the direction of travel. In this application, there is also a second force to take into account, and that is the force of the drag of the paint out. This is approximately 10 pounds or 44 newtons acting at the center of mass. In this application, the spray head is moving 1 meter in 2 seconds, dwelling for 1 second, and then returning to the zero position in 1 second. To begin, launch EL Sizing. Once EL Sizing is launched, you will see the main selection tab first. Here you will be able to select the type of drivetrain that you would like to use for your application. In this application, we will stick with a carriage style actually. Next you can select the type of orientation relative to gravity. For this application, we will stick with the top position. Lastly, input the travel required in millimeters, then click the update button to see all the viable options thus far. Next, click on the load data tab. In this application, we have only one load scenario. But for applications requiring different load scenarios, like in part load or unload operations, you can select a different load phase here. I will start by entering my load information as outlined earlier. By entering 9.1 kilograms in for my mass, and then entering 254 millimeters for the distance off the carriage, and then 127 millimeters away from it. Next, I will enter the applied load of 44 newtons acting at the same location. Given that I want to rely entirely upon the bearing structure of the actuator, I will not click the box for an external guide. Again, click the update button after this information has been entered and you will see a list of options changed based upon this loading. Next, click on the Motion Profile tab. Now, in our application, we have two separate motion profiles we need to account for. So, with the radio button for Selection Load Case 1 selected and the T Total Input Mode, enter in 1000 millimeters for the final position of the move, 2 seconds for the total time of this move, and 1 second for the dwell. Then click Accept. To enter into the next move, click the New Movement button, and then enter in 0 for the move for a return to the final or initial position, and a total time of 1 second. Click Accept again to enter in this move. Now, click on the Display button to display the motion profile. If entered properly, your motion profile should look like this. When finished, click the close button. Next, click the update button so that EL Sizing knows to take into account this motion profile. You will see that the OSPE20 BHD selected combined loads bar turned yellow to indicate that you are approaching the limit of its load carrying capacity. If this bar turns red, you are approaching the maximum limit that this actuator will accept. 
Also listed at the base of this bar is indicated the percentage of torque load that the application requires and the expected life you should see from this actuator in kilometers of stroke. As the last step, click on the project data tab and populate your customer's information. Once completed with the OSPE 20 PhD selected, click on the product overview. Then click on the print calculation button to create a PDF of your customer's application data for their review. Here you should see all the assumptions made to size the actuator select. Once you're through reviewing this information, close the PDF and click on the parts list for a list of part numbers suggested based upon your application. Note that EL sizing is a mechanics optimization tool. There are a limited number of Parker motors and gearboxes listed within this software. Though the motor, gearhead, and drive combination will work, you will most likely be able to refine this selection using Parker Motion Sizer. This concludes the presentation. For more information on Parker's automation product, please visit parkermotion.com.